Oh. Hello, welcome to Ellen. Just the demo, but it looked interesting. It has an interesting introduction tune and a bunch of eyeballs staring at my family. Or who I presume to be my family. Let's just get into it. Red Mount Media. But yes, an indie horror game I found on, I do believe, itch.io. It looked interesting, so I thought to get into it. The game is still under development. And it doesn't portray the final quality of the end of product, obviously. Though, I mean, even if you give people warnings like that, there's always going to be people like in Steam reviews who are like, This game is garbage! It's so leggy! And for you to have to remind them, Hey, you know, it's uh, it's early access, and it's quite literally an alpha. You downloaded and bought an alpha. Shut the fuck up, basically. Um, even with said warnings on the, like, the store page, you're always going to get those people who will bitch about a game not being optimized, and they fully, knowingly, you would hope knowingly, you know, paid for an early access, aka alpha and or beta game, and they're still gonna bitch about shit like that, rather than, you know, actual constructive fucking criticism. So anyways, Alan, the demo. Let us, uh, I guess, get into it. Options? Nope. New game. I have no idea what it's about. I'm kinda curious. And that's just about it. The year is... 7,992! Oh, oh, okay. Unless it's 1992 and the one is just shaped fucking weirdly. Uh, White Hill is believed to be a quiet and peaceful town in England. No one but the townspeople know the truth that the town is shrouded by the darkness of paranormal spirits. The mysterious murder of the Smith family still haunts the streets. It's dark and grimy details lurking around the corners. Well, we can tell if it's fucking the year 7000 or 1997. Uh, years have passed since the tragedy struck the town. Many detectives and cops have gone insane trying to make sense of the events, failing to find the cause of the murders. Father, mother, son, all dead, each murdered in an unspeakably gruesome manner. People had assumed the worst since no traces of the daughter, Ellen, were found in the weeks following the tragedy. I do believe it's then 1991. If I saw the 7 at the end as a 1, or as an actual 7 but the first one no, then I don't know. Can we skip this one or is it just going to slowly go? Until recently, a number of witnesses have come forward with the news of watching the silhouette of a little girl standing behind the windows of the house. The investigation was reopened. She's saying... An investigation reopened in a case of a murdered family because witnesses saw a silhouette of a girl. That's not evidence. That's that's the superstition. Not the police department wanted to take the investigation under their hands, but James stepped forward to resolve the mystery that has left everyone stunned for years. Yeah. I saw like a shadowy figure. It sort of looked like a little girl. The case is open. Wait, what, which case again was it? Oh yeah, the one in 1991. Oh shit, that one. That was spooky. We never solved that. We're, we're gonna open it because you saw a silhouette of a fucking girl. Okay. The phone. Mm. Okay. Alright, my leg hurts. What a fall. It was so dark I didn't see the broken floor. I need to find my way out of this place. Hmm. Examine and skip dialogue. Goodbye, old friend. Is it a blanket or a dog? I, I don't know. Do I need the mouse for anything? No, maybe. Hey, little rat. You look a little cute. Oh. Do I need to go left or do I need to go to the right? I don't know. You showing me the way, little rat buddy? It's blocked off. Not not really. That, that looks like a piece of wood or a slab you could, you know, just hoist out of the way. But, sure. Spooky. Um, I'm gonna move to the right as boringly as it is because this guy walks super, super fucking slow. Uh, because I didn't look all the way to the right and I want to know what's there. Since usually, you know, he games, you're going left to right, not the other way around, so I'm kind of fucking curious. Well, it's a map. Well, sorry, this, this is sort of important. It's a completely, it, it's completely soaked with water. Oh. Oh, okay. It's a door! Oh. Okay. Is that rotten food? Why is it here anyways? No idea. 
Apparently we could go to the right and it went somewhere. Now I'm curious what would be all the way to the very fucking left. But I'm not going to go back to the left unless I fucking need to. It smells like gasoline. I really, really want running. Really, really, really want running. This is very fucking slow. If a game feels needlessly slow, I get so impatient. There's a bottle. Full of stuff, mostly boxes. Completely rusted, could fall apart at any moment. Let's do it. No, just not gonna break it. Yuck. How long has this been here? No idea. You're asking the wrong person, bud. Someone used it heavily. Okay. I wonder who was using it. Hey, key. Well, it's a rusty broken key gets you. Okay, why the fuck does. Why is it there then? It looks like the rats have made these wires their dinner. Though there's no way I'll be able to restore the electricity. Are you an electrician now? Why would you put a rust. Why would you put a rusted key? Oh, I guess I'll take that. Sure, thank you. Oh. Cool. Why put a rusted key? Illuminated just for you to say, oh, hey, it's rusted key. Well, it's why. Why, why, is it in, why is it needed? Why is it included? Why is it on the shelf? Oh. A, a bug. Hey, little buddy, where is the exit? I... Oh. Okay. Let's go up the stairs, I guess. I don't know what's all the way to the left, but hey, I'm gonna I'm just gonna leave it. Unless this is locked. Oh. What? That was weird. It's locked. Never mind. We have to go all the way back. Okay. Whew, gee, I sure wish I could run. Like any normal human can. Is that so hard to ask for? I wonder if anything's gonna bust down this door. At a very crucial moment. We'll find out later. Cause it looks like someone put it there to make sure nothing would get in here. Hmm. Oh, this is my favorite. Oh, it's a jacket. You call. Oh, your old friend is your jacket. Okay, that's cool. Yes. I mean, I like my coat. My winter coat is very nice. Very nice. It's very cushy. It's very warm. But I don't know if I would call my coat my friend. That's... I don't know. Is this uh, something you do if you're, like, from England? Or wherever the developer's from? The door's locked. I mean, this guy, like, talks to fucking plants, and his friend is a coat. I think I should be concerned about his fucking, uh... His mind. His mental state right now. He asked the plant where the exit is, and his fucking friend is a coat. Used for storing stuff. There, there's a note behind it. Move it. Move it kindly. Reminds you. I don't give a fuck. There's like a note. I don't want to read it, but apparently it's not important. Let's keep going, I guess. Oh, a drawing of a scary, bloody monster. Super scary. Okay. Cool. And what was that? I. Oh, a flashlight! Great! I got a flashlight now. That's cool. I wish I would have gotten it a little earlier. It feels like my character moves a lot more weirdly now. There's a cat outside. Maybe it's hungry. Sadly, I can't help it. Okay. So they gave us a flashlight, but not sprint. I didn't really need the flashlight, but... Oh. What? Why is my vision getting all fucked up? Can I run yet? I feel like it's a good time to run. A little house plant. Oh. Okay. Let's just go all the way to the right again. Is Buck gonna fall my head? I swear it already fell down. Doing. Maybe I didn't. Okay, fuck it. I'm not going to go all the way to the right only to find out that I needed to actually look at the door or something. 
So, so I'm going to go all the way back to the left. It's not like it went far anyways. But uh, I'd really kick myself in the ass if I had to actually do something to make the story go along. But I would have to go back to this fucking room, you know? Because I had to maybe do something first. So let's find out. I get a feeling like I'm meant to maybe click on this door. That's blood on the window, don't know what killed the cat, but I should quickly find my way out of the basement. basement. Is this a basement? Oh god, it's a basement now. That was a sewer system or something. Jesus Christ, he's fucking slow. But now that we clicked the door, he actually outwardly said, Hey, I want to get out of here. Maybe that was what would be needed. Because, you know, some games are very, let's say, specific. But they want the character to say something, you have to touch something for something else to activate. So we got to make very much sure that uh, with this fucking movement speed, you know, I don't do anything. I do everything before moving on from one side of the fucking map to the next. I'll, I'll throw a theory out there. I'm predicting that maybe the developer didn't add running, not because of any kind of like, oh, well, that'd be weird to animate, I don't want to put that in there, but it's to make the game feel longer, like it's sort of, oh, where, where did the food go? Oh. To make the game basically be longer, so like there is no running because of that reason is what I would predict. Because if I had running, this video would probably only be five minutes long. But it depends on how... Like, this is just a demo reminder. But uh, it'd be a shorter demo. And they're forcing me to walk super fucking slowly to extend the duration. I can't really condone people that do shit like that. But that's just a theory. A game theory. On a indie horror demo. Anything in here? No? Do I have to leave the basement? Like, is it open? I heard a door open. Is it... This is open? Oh. I think I hear someone. Yeah, there is. Let's go upstairs and maybe get attacked. Hello? Oh. The door is open. Oh. Sure, okay. A little house plan. Okay. I own one of these. Yeah, oh, wait, wait. An old wall phone? Oh, that's what it is. There are bugs crawling all over the couch. Baron. Ah, it's freezing in here. Okay. Dear Mr. Smith, I have been meaning... To write you about the rest of the note is crossed out. Oh, okay. I guess this must be Baron. Sure. Electric heater and possibly some unlocking this here wardrobe. Oh, no. I could go for a nap right now. I don't think I would be wise. But hey, if you really want to, be my guest. This bed is messy. Maybe not. What? Wait, did I just get teleported back here? Wait, what? What? A little weird, but okay. That's... I don't know why I got sent back there, but... Hmm. Possessed house. It does weird things. It's too dark in here. Luckily, I have a flashlight. Yeah, I already, I'm already using it. Weird. Alright, we really don't need to go into the Baron room again. At least until I find a key. <laughs> hmm. 
Oh, what's up? Oh, hey there, little buddy. Who are you? Oh. <laughs> a, a tiny little shriek. Huh? Weird. Oh, I have been grabbed. We hope you enjoyed the demo. Do provide us with your valuable feedback. I think this video has plenty of feedback as is with my complaints mostly about the walking slowness. Um, but yes, um, my biggest complaint is just the movement animation outside of that. I mean, if you added sprinting, so it wouldn't be as fucking snail ass slow. That would be my my big number one nitpick. Um, and if anyone else has other feedback they'd like to give the developer, please leave it in the comments below. But outside of that, I hope you enjoyed the game for the game demo for what it offered. If you did, please leave a like, comment, and hit that subscribe button. Become my fourth subscriber. Hit that bell notification down below for updates of my videos. Thank you for watching, and until the next time. Um.